Your aluminum wire is extremely flexible. It can be shaped by hand or by wrapping it around a form. Avoid heavy use of pliers which can damage or cut the soft metal. You can wrap the jaws of some old pliers and tape if you need. Here I will use a dowel to create jump rings for a chain. By tightly wrapping the wire around the dowel, I can make multiple rings of the same size. Simply cut the coil to create individual rings. I'm using wire cutters, but a jeweler saw works well too, and leaves a straight cut. You can gently squeeze the ring closed. My wire cutters are ground flat on one side of the blade. They leave a straight cut on one side and a V-shaped cut on the other. I'm flipping the cutters around to leave a straight cut on both sides of the ring. The cut edges can be cleaned up with a needle file. The soft aluminum can be shaped with very little force. You can use a variety of surfaces as an anvil, as long as it has more mass than your hammer. You could forge metal with two rocks if you really needed to. The ring will stretch as it is handled. Be careful if your hammer has sharp edges. A misplaced hammer blow can cut right through the thin wire. Most metals become work hardened when stretched by a hammer. So there's a limit to how far you can stretch the material before it breaks. Think of bending a paperclip back and forth in the same spot until it snaps.